Uh, Finzy here today and we bring you another tutorial on how to make 3D YouTube backgrounds. Oh, this seems to be playing up um, the moment. So every time I have to do something, I'm going to have to pause the video, but I'll tell you how to do it first. First of all, go MoGraph, text object, and then your text object should show up, not like that. Um, now you want to type in whatever you want here, so mine is flimsy gfx, like that, and then you want to increase your depth to about 80, and then go to caps, start cap, fill it cap, end cap, fill it cap, and change the radius to 2 on both, on both sides, so 2, and then on this one, 2. Alright, now I'm going to pause the video to do this bit. Alright, there we go. I have to turn the camera because it doesn't work in this. Alright. I'll change it to whatever font you want. My one's called Mod. And then align it straight. Okay, now you want to create two colours, two um, materials. And do the first colour to a white. So, I'm going to have to pause the video and when you make your white you should put luminance to about 20% okay and now the other color to whatever you want in this case I'm going to do red okay now you want to drag your first, your main color which is red like that and then you want to drag your white one on there we go and now down here it says selection capital C then one and then it will do this you have to click out here otherwise it will just still be a white so T1 and then click anywhere on here. Um, now you can just render that out to see how it looks. And you see how this lights up and that doesn't. That's because we don't have any lights. So now what you want to do is pull one light above and one light back. Whoops. I'll show you at the end of that song. Uh, yeah, and there it is. So now you want to render that out. And that's how it looks now, which is quite good. So I'm just going to pull that light. Alright, now let's have a look. Yeah, that's good. Alright, now for render settings, you want to go full render, then click this arrow, film, HDV, save, P save it as a PNG, and I'm going to save it as mod red flimsy GFX, and you can save it to wherever you want, but I suggest somewhere on the desktop. I like to keep everything um, good, like tidy in my desktop. So there it is. I have mine there. Um, and then you can just exit that and click the middle button to render it out. Like that. Now you want to drag your template into Photoshop. Like that. Um, now, what you want to do is remove whatever you want. I mean, that's stupid now. Um, well, this template's blue, so I'm gonna click on the blue layer. I'm gonna and I'm gonna go image adjustments. Hue and saturation, and I'm going to change it to red. I just got to pause the video for this. So there we go. I changed it all to red. Now, um, now you want to drag your text on, which my one is. Oh my gosh, everything's messy now. Um, like that. Here's my text. You drag your text on into Photoshop like this on top, and it will open in a new thing. So now you, all you want to do is. Drag this off the bar, press Ctrl A, and drag it onto here. I'll pause the video for that. And now, what you want to do is you take your text, press Ctrl T, and you want to turn it on its side. So, I'm going to pause the video to do When you press Ctrl T, you can also take the time to resize it. And then you supply the transformation. And now all you all you have to do is drag this up here. So I'm just gonna do that. Whoops. 
<coughs> now it's up there. You want to find your extras that you've made. Well, not made, but you've downloaded. And mine should be in screenshots here. Um, you just find these anywhere. They're not uncommon or anything. Just get flares. Just type in flare download pack or whatever into YouTube. And you're sure to find one. Just drag your flare or whatever it is into Photoshop. And then do the same as four. Drag this off. Control A. So I'll pause the video to do this. There we go. Now what you want to do is click on the layer and change that bar from normal to screen. So it's like that. that. Now you want to click on the rubber tool and you want to make sure it's on a fading out brush and you want to just you just want to cut off the edge okay there we go and then you want to like cut off the edges you won't be able to see it really but now what you want to do is um, press ctrl T turn it on its side and bring it like under the corner of the text here or up here so I'll pause there we go I've got the flare there and then I'm gonna make another one um, I'm trying to duplicate it let's duplicate it and then I'm gonna drag it up into the top left corner there we go and now one more thing that I wanna add to it is sparks cause sparks look quite good um, you can add them anywhere pretty much um, well you can add any of these things anywhere so I'm gonna add some bullets um, there we go, I'm going to put all three in, maybe, I'm not sure actually. So drag it on like that, click on it, so Winchester bullet, drag that off, and I'll pause it, and now what you want to do is click on it and then go from normal to screen, and then I'll pause it while I do the thing where I have to delete. You know. There you go, I just added some bullets in there in the description box. Um so they should so there should be some bullets here when I add it. Uh uh so oh wait. So, for a lot of this stuff, you can download the GFX pack on my channel. Um, and some vectors are here. I'm not sure if this is that that um, one that you're on. No, I'm not sure if the one that's in that. I'm not sure if the GFX pack on my channel has what I'm just adding in it. I'm not even sure how to use these. Alright, this is just vectors. They're quite cool. You can just take out whatever you want out of it. Like, I'm going to take out this AK. So I'll just. So, there we go. I've just finished it. Um, so now I go file, save as, and save it as BG. And then, well, you can save it as whatever you want really, but make it .jpg anyway. And save that to your desktop with maximum quality. Okay, that should be done. Now what you want to do is go into onto your YouTube channel like this. Not the top where it says themes and colors, click and then go new theme, delete the background, browse, and then scroll down and find your background, which in my case is there. I don't think this is going to be a very good one, but because the stars weren't in like perfect, let me see what f size file it is.
Well, the gun's okay. The writing's nice, but the gun's okay. Oh, wait, let me just see if taking the stars off will be better. Um. I'll pause it while I do this. There we go. I re I redid it. I just resaved it. Alright, now let's just have a look at this. So pretty much yeah, you just do that. And in the meantime you can just change these different shades of like the main colour. So I'm gonna do like a red, a darker red. Just vary them a little bit. A red again, a burgundy. And another red. Oh no, I just deleted the background. Oh yeah. And then for these, you've got to do 100% transparency and 100% transparency. Um. What the hell? I didn't. I actually did say that. You see, I did. Alright, I'll pause it until it finishes. Okay, here's my background. I think it's quite good. Um, so yeah, that's how you make a 3D professional looking background in uh, Photoshop and some other programs.